a twist of events, Australia's Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has set a record as the first Australian head of state to announce his marriage in office. This journey began in 2019, at a dinner in Melbourne, where Albanese, the speaker, revealed his passion for the South Sydney Rabbitohs, his favourite NRL team. Among the crowd, a voice echoed, up the Rabbitohs. This was Jody Hayden, a connection formed, and later, Albanese approached this fellow Rabbitohs fan. Hayden, a superannuation industry professional at the time, later contacted Albanese online. This marked the start of a relationship that would make history. Their journey, beginning as fellow Rabbitohs fans, has now culminated in a historic marriage, creating a heartwarming narrative that has captured the attention of the nation and the world. Their story is a testament to the unexpected twists and turns life can present and the profound impact of shared passions. This saga is just beginning. Hayden, who at the time worked in the superannuation industry, later reached out to Albanese on social media, marking the beginning of their romantic journey. Fast forward to Valentine's Day 2024, a day synonymous with love and affection, romance was in the air. The couple in focus, Anthony Albanese and his partner Jody Hayden, decided to celebrate this day of love with an intimate dinner at Italian and Sons, a renowned establishment nestled in the heart of Canberra's upscale inner north. Living in the moment, I put uh, a lot of planning and thought uh, went into everything from the, the date, obviously, Valentine's Day, and the, uh, the ring that uh, I, I helped to design, uh, and uh, where to do it. Uh, we did it uh, on, I asked on the balcony, uh, or one of the balconies uh, here at the lodge. Uh, we'll now have uh, those discussions between us, which I think people would understand. <laughs> and sort out those details, but we just want to live in the moment at mm. this point. Thanks very much. Thank, thanks very much. The aroma of Italian food, the relaxing ambience, the soft murmuring of other diners, and the candlelit environment added to the charm of the evening, setting an enchanting backdrop for what was to come. After a delightful meal filled with laughter, shared memories and meaningful glances, they returned to their residence, the invenerable Prime Minister's house. The night was young and there was an air of anticipation. On a beautiful balcony overlooking the city, under the enchanting canvas of the starlit sky, a stage was set. Anthony, holding Jodie's hand, looked into her eyes and with a heart full of love, he proposed to her, presenting a specially designed engagement ring. It was a, of suspense, a moment of truth, and then it came, the answer, a resounding yes. The following morning, the world woke up to the delightful news of their engagement. A beaming picture of the couple spread across social media, showing Hayden and her diamond ring. They shared their excitement in a joint statement saying, we are so lucky to have each other. The news sparked a flood of congratulations from varied sources. Notably, New Zealand's Prime Minister, Christopher Luxon, and celebrity cook Nigella Lawson both sent their well wishes. While the couple has kept details of their wedding secret, their anticipation for their shared is obvious. They're embarking on a new journey, making personal and national history in the process. A prime minister marrying during office is a rare event, reflecting their devotion to the country and each other. Eager for a lifetime together, we extend our heartfelt best wishes for their future endeavors.